Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number 39 of our Wolfsburg Rumoured on FIFA 20. We're kicking this one off with a simulated game against CSKA Moscow. In the previous episode, our young player Ronnie Kraft scored a hat-trick against them. This time it was only a 2-0 victory to ourselves, but a victory is still a victory. It doesn't matter if a youngster's not scoring a hat-trick. But before we get into the gameplay against Bayer Leverkusen, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, we will be pushing out FIFA 20 videos right until the deadline. And also, apparently next week there is career mode news being released by EA Sports, I believe on the 13th of August. So, buckle your seatbelts, because we will be going in on that, reviewing it, similar to how we did last season. We're going to have more player rating predictions videos coming out soon. So, yeah, just buckle your seatbelts, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And, yeah, just enjoy, really. Because six minutes into the game against Leverkusen, we tuck the ball into the back of the net with Leroy Sane. But he did return from an offside position. It will not count. It will be chalked off. Back to level terms. Back at 0-0. 16 minutes in though. Jonathan David wins the ball off of Restoros quite nicely actually. As he charges to the byline. Cuts past his man. Unfortunately the bit of skill actually gave the ball straight back to Restoros. But we've got to lick to the back. He's like a... He's like... You know... They call... Um, they call Harry Maguire the fridge. I'd say... That... The licked... Is like a fridge with pace. <laughs> That's how you would describe Delict. He's a fridge with pace. But yeah, he's he's a man mountain. He's a brick shit house. And he's going to win majority of headers that are given his way. And he did so there. Unfortunately, we couldn't really make anything from the chance as Zaracho fired it over the crossbar. But another chance here for Zaracho. And another one where we will be called back for offside. The header didn't really go in anyway. But from the free kick that it got from the offside, Zielinski's going to jump up for this one. He actually wins the header, quite surprisingly. Falls to Ake. Ake to Jonathan David. Jonathan David turns his man brilliantly. Gets past Savic. He's out wide, so he's going to shoot, thankfully for ourselves. Holodeki palms it straight into the path of Matthias Zaracho. Third time's the charm. He tucks it into the back of the net. He makes a 1-0 against Leverkusen, who at this point... They're a rival with us, pushing for the Champions League spaces. Maybe not quite the league title race, but they're in the race. None, the none, the no, oh, they're in the race for Champions League. You know they want Champions League, but with shots like that, you're not going to get in the Champions League. As Tin Yedvai plays the ball over the top, we're going to win the header with Schläger heading it down to Timothy Weyer. And he takes it in his stride, and you can see how tired the Leverkusen team are. And Weir's just got fresh legs. He charges down to the wing, cuts past Restoros quite nicely. Lizzie across to Schläger. First time strike. A lot of venom behind that strike. But it did go wide, and the whistle is going to be blown. We win the game 1 0. Three points will be coming us as we continue our pursuit of Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. As we go on and take Heidenheim in the Bundesliga newly promoted team. And a 4-0 easy victory. And Barber with two goals. Zaracha with one. And David with one. But Pichler picks up a knock. He's going to be out for six weeks. So that means we've either got to play Bauer or Sergi Roberto. As we take on Celtic, we've gone with Bauer in goal. The youngster. The even younger goalkeeper that we've got. And we beat them 2-0 with the rotation side. Schläger and Godfrey with the goals. Eduard missing a penalty for themselves. Late on in this game. He's going to match day 13 at the Volkswagen Arena. Taking on Hoffenheim. And this is another one. Another tough team. We always seem to struggle against Hoffenheim. We had a 3-3 against them at the beginning of last season to kick it off. Just a, a lot of poor results. And I think it's purely based on the fact that they play a 5 at the back. With 3 very, very strong centre-backs. In Soyuncu, Veltman and Vogt. Soyuncu and Vogt both being pretty quick. As well, but you can see we go all the way to the 90th minute. Kaderbach receives the ball as a switch of play, and the game ends nil nil. There was literally no spectacular highlights in this game that really deserved to be seen. As we go into DFB Pokal against Bayern Munich, we are putting in the rotation side. We don't care about the DFB Pokal. They seem to care about it. They put their full strength squad out there. We lost four nil, and as we progress through to a new month, a training injury occurs, and Bau was injured, and Zaratra picked up a knock in that previous game. So we're going to have to go with Romero. Thankfully, we had a third-choice goalkeeper. As Romero steps in for the game against Augsburg, it's a 1-0 victory. Sani with the goal. We're going to have two months in this one episode just because the games weren't that many highlights in the games. As we go on against Manchester United in what I believe is the final game of the group stage. And this game is pretty much to decide who finishes top of the group between ourselves and Manchester United. This is Old Trafford. 
So they could have the advantage if you believe in away advantage. I don't really see that much of a. I, I don't. I don't think there is that much of an advantage. If your players are good enough, there's not going to be an advantage. And I think our players are good enough as well. Plays ball across to Bacalo. Bacalo's going to hit it first time. Very fortunately for us, to hear makes a mistake that's becoming all too common in his game recently. As Schlager tucks it into the open net because of. A save that you think De Gea could have saved, or at least pumped over the bar, instead of towards one of our players into the danger zone. But Bruno Fernandes, probably the most influential player this season. Plays it wide to bat one Bissaka. Aka who's picked up a nog, he can't quite catch him. Led across to Harry Kane, and Harry Kane once again punishes us. For a team I really do believe he can and will probably sign for, maybe next season, the season after, if he's still not getting trophies at... Tottenham, I really do see him in a Manchester United shirt. And it'd be interesting to see if he will leave Tottenham just to go in pursuit of some trophies. But we move on to the 43rd minute. Temporary wear through to Jonathan David. Looks to turn Jimenez. And what he's going to do is he's going to stop, cut inside, strike it. And that's more like the hair, the hair we are used to seeing. The quick reaction saves. But 62 minutes in, Leroy Sonny comes short for the corner. Cuts inside and only a stronger left foot. It's an incredible finish into the opposite left-hand corner. No way De Gea's getting to that one. It's very similar to the goal that Willian scored against Spurs. I think it was at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, where he comes short for the corner, skips past his man, and then just whips it across to the back post. But we didn't do win 2-1. We will progress through to the next round, and I will tell you now, in the first knockout round, we will be taking on PSG, Paris Saint-Germain. So Neymar and co. It's going to be tough, but I do see us progressing through in that game. We've got a strong enough squad defensively, midfield-wise, and uh, offensively. As we beat Mainz 2-1, Sane and Ossiman, I think it was, getting a goal there. We do on Cologne. There's not too many games. The games come start to get slower and slower as we enter the December and January, obviously the winter break. So we go now to match day 17, taking on Hertha Berlin, a team we absolutely smashed last year. I think it was 7-0. It was a hat-trick for Jonathan David, a hat-trick for Zaracho, and just the one goal for Aussie men. But this season, we're going to hopefully try and repeat that. We've got a couple of rotational players in there, just to kind of keep them happy, really. Um, a couple of players have come to me and asked to be loaned or sold. The likes of Godfrey, he's been asked to leave. Obviously, we've got uh, Lena ahead of him now in the pecking order, our young youth academy centre-back, who's kind of hopped ahead of him, so... He will probably be sold. He could be probably get maybe 30 million for him in the January transfer window. But yeah, he will be sold as six minutes in. Poor clearance from ourselves. And I had to, I had to, I had no. He took to him in the sixth minute. I'm not too sure on the pronunciation of that guy's name. But a lovely little strike first time. Just poor defending from ourselves. And we see ourselves go 1-0 down. Not for the first time this season. We've done a lot. And I thought we'd improved our defence by signing Delict. But Pichler is having a really, really poor season, which is, is very strange, considering last season he was a really, really good player. But Sane can't quite score that one. Kraft with a brilliant save to not allow him. 28 yards out, Sane stepping over this one. A long-range free kick now. Can he knuckle it, similar to how Ronaldo did against Portsmouth? Yes, he can. But it's nowhere near the top corner like Ronaldo's was. And 25 minutes in, it's still 1-0 to Hertha Berlin. But from a goal kick... We've still got Romero in goal. Maybe that's the reason why we've not been so, so good in this game and this little run. But we move on as Mbappé down this right-hand side. Captain Fantastic. Cuts the ball centrally to Schläger. Schläger to Sane. Sane threads it through to Ossiman. One-on-one. And the, I think it's the first goal he's scored since coming back from his injury. It's a, it's a huge, a big injury. A big, I think it was a broken toe, if I remember correctly. He missed a couple of months. And he's finally back. He's finally back on the score sheet as Lena finds Martinez, hits it on his left foot, falls perfectly to Ostiman, and there's another great reaction saved by Kraft. Denies the chance of doubling our goal tally and actually going ahead for the first time in this game. As they intercept the ball, they get it away, and with five minutes remaining, we're just kind of panicking at this point. We need a goal to continue our fight with Dortmund and Bayern. As Ossiman finds Jonathan David, threads it through to Sane. You can see how tired he is. We've been pushing all game. He cuts past Mason Holgate, gets on onto his left, strikes, and it's blocked by Rekic. And that is going to be that. 1-1. We drop points in a game we really should be winning, considering the result of the game last time we played. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.